Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. Now in this tutorial, it's kind of going to be special because this is going to dramatically improve your stress life. Now it's going to remove the use the Gutenberg buttons when you are editing a page or post. So if you have a client or a customer or whatever, and they're in there editing pages and posts, you don't have to worry anymore about them clicking the use standard editor or use default editor buttons because we're going to show you how to hide them. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's get to this here. So we're just trying to avoid um, your client or even yourself from clicking that button, you know, one of the buttons that would that would get rid of your Divi layout and go back to like the standard or uh, Gutenberg editor. We just don't want that to happen. Plus, it's it's unnecessary for them buttons to be there anyway. So it's like, why not get rid of them? You know, it's it's not like not like you have to, but it's like why have them there if you're not going to be using them? Um, and so that's kind of the key. If you don't want them there, I mean, if you want them there, don't do this tutorial. But yeah, of course. Now there's two kind of scenarios, and I, I want to explain this. So in this tutorial, we're going to cover two scenarios, and really what I'm talking about, and you can actually do them both. In fact, you probably should do them both. But there's going to be a scenario where, like in this screenshot, you have the classic editor enabled. And what I mean by that, if you go into Divi to the theme options, under the the builder tab, the third tab in here, and then you would click the advanced tab. So right here it says enable classic editor. So you can turn that on and off, okay? Um, so in this particular one, if this is enabled, if the classic editor is enabled, this is kind of how it looks. And I could show you on the live site, but I have screenshots here too. But so there's this button right here, right? That's if the that's for a blog post or a page. So I'm gonna leave it on there. I'll show you this also here. So if I go to like um, one of the well, the sample blog posts that's here. All right. So right here it's gonna load, and right here's um, use the Divi Builder because we're already in this. Now if I enable the Divi Builder, right? If I use the Divi Builder or, you know, initiate it, see it's, you know, starting. This is the first time I'm using the Divi Builder on this post. And, you know, I go through that and I, I add all my content. So right there's that gray button again. Now let's say I went through here and I made this really nice layout and everything. Well, if someone clicks this return to standard editor, um, and here it even has this little pop-up, all content created in the Divi Builder will be lost. Previous content will be restored. Do you wish to proceed? So it's going to put back whatever you had there with the, the classic, you know, the old, like the old WordPress editor there. And, and people do this. I see people post about this in Facebook and they're like, what do I do? I did this accidentally or my client did it or whatever. And so that's what I'm trying to avoid with this tutorial. Just get rid of the button. Why even have the button there? Just get rid of the button. Um, and it would be the same thing for pages. And again, this is when... Um, the classic builder is enabled. In fact, let me show you. Let me. I'll just um, open a new tab here real quick, and I'm going to turn that back off. That tab that I showed you. Go to the builder tab and theme options, advanced. And, and if this is off, and, and I'm going to save that, and now I'm going to refresh this this page here. In fact, maybe I should update it first since it's since I switched to the builder. I might need to actually click update so that Divi is like engaged. All right, so I clicked update. It's actually refreshing the page, um, meaning now we're back to when this is turned off. So the classic editor is off now, meaning Gutenberg is on. Gutenberg's enabled now. So here's the thing. In Divi, when Gutenberg is enabled like that, when this is off, I know it feels opposite, but classic editor's off, Gutenberg's on, then it looks like this. So I could click edit with the Divi Builder and then it would take me to the front end and you know the whole full screen visual Divi Builder and that's great. But what if I click this button? Why why have this button here? Whoops, I just went back. To, see how easy that was to go back. That's terrible, isn't it? Just like that, I clicked it and it went back. Um, and if I click this, it comes back here. But why, why have that button there? So that's, again, a... I'm getting to the actual code to remove that, but that is why. And again, this works. This is the same situation on pages or posts. 
I guess any custom post type that you have the Divi Builder enabled, really. Um, if I go here to page, I'll look at this um, sample page here. It's, it's the exact same view, okay? And then watch this. I'll turn that back on. Refresh this page. Just I'm just showing you kind of like the before, and then we're going to show you the after. <laughs> and then here like this, once we're um, in the builder with uh, the classic editor enabled, right? then that's when we can use the Divi Builder in the back end like this. And right here's this button. And again, why do we even want that button? And then um, adding a new page or post, is, it's slightly different. I'm going to turn the classic editor off now. I know I keep doing that. But now I'm going to go to as if I'm adding a, a new page right here. And a new page or post, it just has like a slightly different um, position of the button. So you can see it now. It's right there kind of in the center of your screen. So I'm adding a new page right now. I can put my title and everything, but then use Divi Builder and then this button is here now. Once this page is, is created and everything, remember it was up here at the top or over here, um, but now, now it's in the center. So anyway, let's get, let's get to this. Let's hide this thing. So um, back in the blog post, and if you're watching this on YouTube, then always go to the blog post. That's kind of the role every single video. So here I have the code. And if you're looking at this code, you might be like, no, wait a minute, what, what kind of code is this? Well, this is actually PHP, and it needs to go in a child theme because of that. So in the functions.php file of a child theme, if you don't have a child theme, that's fine. You can get one. Um, we have the link to our free one right here. I actually installed the actual one right there, the free one, on this site. So, in fact, I'll show you that. In fact, let me go here to appearance and themes. That's where it would be. You would go here and add new. Uh, if you have Divi active like that, um, and then add new, install the child theme. Here you can see it says free child theme by PA Creative. Um, and that's where we're going to be working. In fact, I'll just show you right now. On your, under themes, sorry, under appearance, theme editor right there. That's where we're going to be going. Say I understand, yeah. So right here, free child theme by PA Creative needs to be selected. If it's on Divi, make, just switch it to this, select that. And here you can see functions.php. That's the file where we're going to add the code. So do not touch any of this stuff. But you can see right here, you can add custom functions below this line. So that's where you do it. Just put your cursor here. And that's where we're going to paste this code. So back in the tutorial here, I have this. Um, it, it's, it's PHP, but it has CSS in it. And you may wonder what in the world's going on. Here you can see... Um, uh, about right there that part in green is the CSS and that and if you look closely at it the CSS is targeting the page builder um, and it's saying ET PB builder is used um, and then over here it's like well, what's all this stuff these are the button CSS classes of those uh, the Gutenberg and classic builder so Notice that it say says display none right there. We're, we're hiding it. Um, so we're targeting it with this line and then we're hiding it. And then this is actually just adjusting the left margin of the Divi button because we're taking the Gutenberg button out of the way and that makes a little bit of space. So, you know, just so anyway, we had to use PHP. You can't just put this in your in your um, theme option CSS. It's not. How do I want to say it's uh, it's not strong enough because you're putting it in Divi. So you're trying to you're modifying the core Divi in Divi and that's not going to work. So we need to put it in the child theme. So just go ahead and grab this code and go back to here where I said and just click paste. All right. And you can see it there. Click the blue button update file. And by the way, this will depend. Well, the, there's two snippets of code it's going to depend on the setting in here and I know I keep coming back in here so the first snippet actually has this on the first one in my tutorial has this one so let's go back here now I'm gonna refresh this page now you watch what happens here so it's as if I'm adding a new page right and if I say use the Divi Builder and then I'll select this whole thing now you'll remember before I hit that there was a second button here this button was moved right here and it said, you know, return to classic editor or whatever. So we moved it and then moved the blue one over. There you go. And build on the front end is, you know, we're already in Divi. It's just saying, do you want to build on the front end? 
That's great. And now again, this is um, on the the new um, page creation thing. So it's the exact same concept with a blog post as well. Now let's move to the other scenario. So I'm going to turn this off, save changes. Back in the tutorial, you'll see, well, there you can see what we just did, but the next one is when this is off. And then you can see the before I showed you that where it's the two buttons side by side in the middle or like up at the top. So this particular code snippet is going to be when, when that toggle is, when this toggle is off. Okay. Go back to your child theme. You can actually just go down below where you put the other. I, I, you could use one or the other if you're definitely only using one. But the way I look at it, um, if you turn that on and off, you might as well have them both covered, if that makes sense. But yeah, if you're, if you're definitely only using one scenario, choose the snippet. But um, you know, for me, I'm putting them both in here. It's fine. Um, update the file. Okay, and then we'll go back to our um, page, this is a page, again, same for page and post. Now it's gonna look a little different because we have, um, you know, we have this disabled class together. So essentially Gutenberg is enabled. So the button was right here. Now it's just the Divi button. So there's nowhere here anymore that I can go and ruin my layout. <laughs> okay, it's not there, it's not possible. Um, that's that's great. This is I'm excited because um, I've never seen any solution like this. So again, it, it would be the same for a blog post like this. Same exact thing. It's not there anymore. And it would be similar when you're creating a new one as well. So create new post or page. Normally, you're going to see the um, yeah, whatever. That's, I, I get confused whether they what they call it. I think they call it standard editor or you know, it's the classic and Gutenberg. We have all these terms, but we just mean the WordPress editor. But again, it, it, here we go. The only option is to use the Divi Builder. So if you have a client or whatever, they're going to be building blog posts or something. There you go. And you, I mean, you definitely want them, if you want them to use the Divi Builder or you're always using the Divi Builder, whatever, there you go. Just now you have um, the option. Yeah, I hope this helps you, you know, like I said, just remove um, the possibility of a chaotic situation when you know oops someone you know he had this amazing layout in Divi um, and then just like that you clicked return to standard editor or something and boom it was gone so really it's really kind of the main I guess the main point and just if, if you're not using it why is it there kind of thing okay so there you go now you know how you can hide those and you don't have to worry anymore about someone accidentally erasing the entire layout or something like that. Um, and it just takes away the confusion. You know, there's just no choices there anymore. Just use Divi. Um, so I hope you guys really found this useful. We have um, a couple of different tutorials already about like customizing the Divi and UI and builder and things. Uh, this might be our fourth or fifth one. So be sure to check out the other ones if you enjoyed this. And we'll see you guys in our next video.